Hello friends, I am back with another update. If you haven't seen my video from yesterday, uh, go ahead and check that out. Um, what happened was I was experiencing some oral fullness, some pressure only in my left ear. I had roaring tinnitus only in my left ear. These are signs of a significant medical emergency. So of course I tested my hearing and found, yes, I do have a low frequency hearing loss only in the left ear. This is not a good thing. You don't wanna to go to your general physician. You wanna go straight to the ENT, which is what I did. Um, met with the ENT and essentially what we think is happening is cochlear high drops or atypical cochlear high drops. So typically with cochlear high drops, you have uh, low frequency hearing loss. You got this roaring in your ears, um, feeling a fullness or pressure in your ears. And then you also have some dizziness or imbalance or vertigo. Luckily, I don't have any dizziness or vertigo, but I kind of had all those other uh, three symptoms. I also had like the sound was distorted in my ear. So when we did the hearing test and we were testing low frequencies in my right ear, they sounded like a normal low frequency tone. When doing it in the left ear, it sounded like, um, like a blown out speaker. It was just distorted, right? So again, all those signs and symptoms, yes, absolutely want to go to an ENT. Um, my uh, treatment is prednisone. Um, what the ENT was telling me was there isn't a kind of best practices for the amount of prednisone to prescribe, unfortunately. He said, you're you know, a young, healthy female, we're gonna go ahead and hit it hard. Thank you very much for calling me young. I'm in my middle age, but I love it. Um, and so I'm on 60 milligrams, of prednisone for four days, then I'm on 40 milligrams of prednisone for four more days, and then finally 20 milligrams of prednisone for four more days after that. I can tell you, I came into the office this morning feeling so much better. The oral fullness is gone. I don't have the roaring in my ears. Um, things sound the same, I guess. It's really hard to tell when um, when one ear is good. So of course, went and tested my hearing, and it, Look at that, much better, right? So even my otoacoustic emissions, which is that test of the uh, inner hair cells that, um, or outer hair cells where um, you don't need to respond, it's a similar test that we give to babies when they're born, that has recovered as well. So all good news, so far so good. Of course, I will continue to monitor my ears and update you if anything changes, but so far, everything is looking great. All right, friends, I'm Dr. Maria Morrison, audiologist. I'm your expert in hearing health care. And please, if you have any questions on hearing health care related topics, leave those in the comments below and I will get back to you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.